Commodore Plus 4 enthusiasts and those with expanded Commodore 16 machines are in for a treat as Pulsar, the development team behind Pets Rescue and Alpha Ray, are back with an epic story-based exploration game called Lakia, the Lost Island. RGN featured the Commodore 64 version of Lakia in its recent C64 Roundup series, and as good as that version looks, the Plus 4 version of the game is graphically stunning for an 8-bit machine. Starting things off with a wonderful cinematic introduction showing wise women gathering in a forest for a ritual, we see a series of scenes showing that things don't go as planned as magic escapes beyond their control, sending their lost souls to a new location. The game cuts across to a small village where we find Nora waking up on her 16th birthday and we're told very little else about what lies ahead of us. Given an errand by her mother to pick up an apogee fruit, Nora sets off outside exploring her village surroundings and nearby forest. Just take a look at those graphics. Not only are they better defined than the C64 version, but you'll also pick up many impressive effects such as being able to walk behind objects, floating cloud shadows, and lots of cute random critters roaming around. When Nora gets around to finding the Apogee Fruit, it is here that the game story narrative starts to progress. A magical event is triggered, which results in all of the local villagers disappearing. Well, all except for Gomez. As we find out throughout the game, Gomez has a special connection with Nora, and is invaluable in helping to guide her through her adventure. Lycaea is very much a game of exploration, interaction and completing quests. Once Nora works out how to bring all the villagers back, she gets to know them a little better and offers to help them out with their various problems. One thing leads to another as the story starts to gradually unravel before Nora's adventures take her to the far land of Robola. It is here where Nora starts to get a hint that some of the people she meets are also somehow connected to her, and that perhaps that there is a greater purpose to her day. As you progress through the game, you'll come across a number of puzzles for you to solve in order to open up inaccessible areas. Most of these puzzles will rely on you picking up visual clues, while others will simply be a process of trial and error to flip the switches in the right combination. There are combat elements within the game, but these are quite light and will not get in the way too much. The overall story arc within Lakia is quite clever and the game is just a joy to play overall. Development of Lakia is almost complete, with only a few adjustments to be made to the game before being released. Lakia The Lost Island will be available to purchase in a double disc format from Cytronic Software. There will be a digital download package that will be made available for free. The digital pack will include a version of the game that will work with SD2 IEC devices. The Pulsar team have been at the forefront of supporting modern day Plus 4 gaming, and I'm sure you'll find, like here, The Lost Island, to be a benchmark game for this wonderful little home computer.